constellations, deep sky objects, planets, and events. Tonight's sky, highlights of the September sky. Just after sunset, Saturn and Mars appear low above the western horizon. Try to catch a glimpse of them before they disappear. September nights feature the wet quarter of the sky. Two neighboring constellations bear ancient references to water. Aquarius is one of the oldest constellations, recognized even by early civilizations. In ancient mythologies, Aquarius is the god of the waters. Look for the water jar a group of stars shaped like a Y. A rich, compact cluster of stars can be seen in Aquarius. Known as M2, it contains about 150,000 stars, located about 37,500 light years away. Binoculars present it well, but a small telescope reveals much more detail in the cluster's compact center. Nearby lies the great constellation Capricornus. Known in mythology as the water goat, it represents a creature that fed and watered the infant Zeus, ruler of the Greek gods. Algeti is the brightest star in Capricornus. It's visible in binoculars as an elongated star. This odd shape is due to a visual trick. From our distant vantage point, two unrelated stars appear to be close together. Capricornus also hosts a dense cluster of stars, M30, a small telescope easily resolves individual stars in the cluster. Majestic Jupiter rises in the east around midnight and goes on to dominate the southern sky in the hours before dawn. A telescope exposes the planet's colored cloud bands. Brilliant Venus makes its appearance before sunrise. Look for Venus in the eastern sky. This month's full moon is known as the Harvest Moon. It rises in the east just before the end of twilight on September 29th in North America, September 30th in Europe and Asia. 
The added bright moonlight lengthens the evening to give farmers extra time to harvest their crops. The night sky is always a celestial showcase. Explore its wonders from your own backyard. <laughs>